some people's seizures don't come from parts of the brain that we can remove or they come from more than one spot. So they're not a candidate for resective surgery. Our success with an alternative to this is really something to really talk about, which is, a which is the stimulation of the vagus nerve. We have two vagus nerves, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the right does a lot of things in our body, but the one on the left stops around the chest area where it really doesn't do much below that. Um, and so uh, it was suggested by a scientist who was researching epilepsy in dogs that if he stimulated the vagus nerve, he would stop a seizure, which he found he could. Uh, and this generated a whole new treatment for people who have seizures, which was vagus nerve stimulation. Kind of a pacemaker for the brain, although we don't have to put it into the brain. Vagus nerve stimulation uh, involves placing a generator device, like a pacemaker, into the chest, the left chest, and connecting this electrode to the left nerve, the left vagus nerve. A whole procedure takes about an hour. It's an outpatient procedure. It's extremely well liked by patients. Not a drug. Not a drug. Doesn't have the drug side effects. No staggering. No tiredness. In fact, studies actually have shown that it increases people's alertness and their concentration. And there's even a suggestion that it improves their memory. Uh, so much so that it, at one point people are actually looking at it as a treatment for Alzheimer's disease. So memory improvement, all these other features, really make vagus nerve stimulation a great option. And vagus nerve stimulation has taken a tremendous step forward very recently. It now has automated an automated system. We used to rely upon a, this regular impulse that we, that we would send through the vagus nerve to the brain to train the brain to resist seizures and, and that would reduce the number of seizures. Um, now, through um, testing, we've been able to identify that certain changes in the way the heart rate goes are associated with seizure on, uh, seizures. And so the vagus nerve stimulator senses the heart rate and will actually turn itself on the way it was originally tested by the scientist who's working in his dogs with epilepsy. Um, he stimulated their vagus nerve when the seizure was happening and it stopped it. Uh, and, we, in the, and we have had a manual activation that people can use, but now there's an automated activation based upon a ch sudden change in heart rate. And the, success, the ability to detect the seizure, a seizure occurring accurately is about 90%. So we really hope that this group of people who turned out not to be a candidate for surgery, for resective surgery, are going to actually have tremendous benefit from this. Um, it's not a replacement for medication. Um, many times people may continue to be on medicines, but they can be on far less medications. And, and there, that's a huge improvement in quality of life too. And that's, that's what we saw in the studies we published articles about how people's quality of life was vastly improved, that intellectually that they were at least the same, if not better, uh, as part of the use of the stimulator. So it's, it's, a, it's a really well accepted tool that's been out since 1997, uh, and it's just gotten tremendously better. So we have hopes, we have hopes that this is an option for a lot of other patients.